Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video on Conga CPQ, we have seen how can we create product attribute to define the characteristic of product and how can we relate it to any particular product. Today, we are going to see product feature visibility. So, product feature is nothing but an attribute only. So, how can we, uh, today we can see how can we set up the visibility of various picklist values of product attribute. So that's been product feature visibility is being divided into two parts. So today we are going to take the very first part. So here is the agenda. What is product feature? How to control visibility of product feature? How to set up use case? And we'll review the config case. So what is product feature? Product feature is nothing but a characteristic of product. In Conga, these product features or category characteristics are widely known as product attributes. Now, how to control the visibility of product feature or the pick list view? Right? So, we can control the visibility of different product attributes using two ways attribute value matrix and product attribute rule. Now, when to use what? So, product attribute value matrix can be attribute value matrix can do the following thing. So, first of all, let's understand what it can do. It can attribute value matrix can define and default the variation combination of the attribute value. So it can default some values to some uh, pictures and it can allow specific value or specific combinations only. Okay. So this is something called picklist value visibility part. Okay. And when it comes to product attribute rule, it can do the following thing. It can show or hide an attribute. It can allow specific value to be there in picklist. It can make an attribute required or disabled, reset the value of the attribute, it support, and it can default the values of attributes. So let's say when you want to have uh, functionality like you want to hide something, you want to make it required or disabled, right? The attribute, you can use product attribute rule. And when you want to define the default data or the required data only, you can use attribute value matrix. Today we are going to see attribute value matrix. So how to set up? So to set up the product feature visibility of type attribute value matrix, we'll have to do the following steps. Create a product, create priceless item, create certain attribute and relate it to product. Create the same fields that you have created on attribute on the attribute value matrix entry. Okay. Create attribute value matrix, post set and constraint are two part. Okay of uh, attribute value matrix create attribute value matrix action as well and we're gonna see like what what force set and constraint mean and then at last you'll have to run the main test. now the use case is apples is selling laptop to the customer laptop has following characteristics processor ram storage plan color now in case of force set what we want to do is we want to force the configuration right so Let's say that the processor must be 14 GB, uh, 14 Gen, RAM 32, storage 1 GB, uh, sorry, 1 TB, display 15.6, and laptop color needs to be black. It can't be changed. And so that is what we want to force. And in case of constraint, we want to define several configuration or several set of values, which goes one by one. Let's say if you select processor of 13 GB, Gen i7, you can see 4 GB, 8 GB, and 16 GB of RAM option. If you select 13 Gen i7 and RAM as 8 GB, you can only see storage as 512, not 256. Okay, so that is what can be done using type constraint of attribute value metric. Now, let's review the use case. Before that, let me show you like where I created the field. Okay, so I go to product attribute to uh, value. So I click on product attribute value and the other one is which object that we have referred. Let me just take that out attribute value matrix entry. Okay. Okay, this was the issue. Attribute value matrix entry. So I'll go over here. I'll go over here as well. 
So the same fields I have created, laptop color, processor, RAM, storage, and display over here. I have created the same fields as the product attributes as well. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll select AVM and I'll just configure this. I don't see anything over here, right? Okay, so let me just see whether my rules are active or not. Okay, so rule is active, okay, but it didn't default at anything. So let's just see for okay why okay so it was force that right processors and other things are defined okay so over here you can define like attribute one processor ram storage display laptop color and this is the combination that we have seen in the screenshot 14 gen 32 1 tb 15.6 and black it was application type as false why it was not showing up as i mentioned you have to run the maintenance right? so i'll just run the maintenance and let's wait for a while to get it completed. And it got completed. Let me just remove this product and let me refresh the catalog. So let's wait for a while to get this refresh. And I'll go over here and I'll select laptop AVM. I'll click configure. And as soon as I go over here, I can see the default values 14 gen, 32, 15.6, 1 TB black. The same that we have mentioned here okay so now consider if you have multiple entries it will pick the very first one and default it this you can't change if i see, click cancel you can see i can't change it right i can see the values but i can't change it okay so that is what forced me now i'll just deactivate this make sure whenever you are using both of them with the same product either of them needs to be deactivated otherwise it won't work now what I'll do is I'll active this. This is type of constraint. We have same set of attributes coming over here. And here is a combination like 13 gen. Select if you select 13 gen, you will have 4 GB, 8 GB, and 16 GB of RAM. Storage is 256 and 1512, 13.3, 13.5 will be display inches, and colors are blue and silver. Now if you change make it processor as 13 gen and RAM as 4 GB, you can only see one option right in each and if you are getting only one picklist value it will automatically get selected so let's just see that okay i'll remove this out i'll go to maintenance and i'll click this maintenance okay i believe i haven't saved it so i'll just save it and i'll reopen to show you guys again when we do it on the card or configuration screen so i'll just preparing and it got completed i'll refresh the page and let's see the configuration in action. So I'll go over here and I'll select AVM. You see, nothing got defaulted because we have disabled this post. Over here, you can see all the pictures 4, 8, 16, 32. Now, as soon as I select 13 gen, you can see that 4, 8, and 16 GB are only visible option because that's the combination we have seen over here. Now, as I go over here and make the RAM as 4 GB, this 256, 13.3, and blue got selected by default, right? Because that's the only combination available over here. And if I go over here and change this to 8 GB, so we'll have to do this up, right? And I'll select 8 GB, it goes. When you, when you remove that, certain things doesn't work, so that's out of the box behavior, you can't control it. So if I select an 8 GB, I can see only this quick list value. Right. Similar, let's say I'll this I'll remove all of this. Okay. And I'll select, let's say, 14th gen. So I can see only 8, 16, and 32 GB because that's the combination over here. Right. If I select 16 GB, I see the value getting default because we have only one combination available over here for processor and frame. So that is how you can control your pick list values. How can you default it? How can you mark it as required? How can you have a various combination of attributes? How you can do that using attribute value matrices. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please like and share content if you have liked it. Right? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you very much.